Welcome to Northwest Custom Images. Today's design was designed with toothpicks. This also required three pores, a white base, a clear center, and a clear coating. So let's start the show. First thing we need to do is set up our table and get our boards ready by sanding them off to make the resin easy to roll over the sides. We get them mounted on some cups and get them ready for priming. Yes, I had to do a second board for my wife when she got home from work. Today we're trying art resin for the first time. Sherry and I like to tape the bottom of our boards so uh, we can get the drips off easier and we're going to put tape along the edges to hold the resin in while we're doing our design and we'll do this with a white pour and our single pour with clear when we add the colors and then uh, when we do our last pour we'll let it roll over the edges. This first pour will be white only for my base. Time to remove some bubbles and play with fire! Fire! Burn! Burn! Fire! Okay, time to cover this up and let it sit overnight. Voila! It's the next day and it's time for me to lay out my colors. So I'm going to do a clear pour today and uh, let it thicken and I'm um, also doing uh, clear mixes for all these colors. So I'm using acrylic colors and then for the black I want it really really black so I added some powdered black to it and all of them got glitter so yeah this is gonna be pretty cool. So I added glitter to all the colors but my bright colors I added white um, pigment into it to bring out the colors. I didn't want them to be clear so uh, they'd stand out more when I spread them out. Hold it, not this one. Or this one either. Good boy. Now it's time for me to pour this clear resin and I want this to thicken up really good so my colors don't blend so much when I add them. I also want my colors to be thick so they don't spread too much into the clear. I also really love these little silicon spreaders we bought at Michael's. Hey, I get to play with fire again. Burn, burn, get the bubbles, burn. And here's a peek at my colors before I start putting them on.
Okay, confession, I used a really big toothpick for this. Just to change it up a little. And this is Rob playing with fire again, removing the bubbles and pretty happy with this design. So I got to let this one dry and harden and wait till the next day. 
and I found out I had to do a little filing the next day too. Because I used tape dams and let it dry hard, um, I got little edges that I needed to get rid of so I could do my clear pour and it would go over the sides better. And by the way, I have no technique for pouring this stuff, but this looked pretty good. The other thing that's kind of funny is I don't think my wife's ever going to see our kitchen counters again. <laughs> Removing the bubbles again and playing with fire. So it's time to cover this puppy up, let her dry, and here's the finished product. Hey, thanks for watching Northwest Custom Images and our happy birthday design with two pics. Please take the time to subscribe, like, and share our videos, and stay tuned for our next design. Thanks for watching.